Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this and remember that Christ's blood was shed for thee. Thank you. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this and remember that Christ's blood was shed for thee. Be thankful. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this and remember that Christ's blood was shed for thee. Be thankful. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this and remember that Christ's blood was shed for thee. Be thankful. Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this, and remember that Christ's blood was shed for thee. Be thankful. minister. He's a dead minister. Hardly a mark, but he's dead. starting to breathe. first came. I never used it, though. Probably should have. You were a hard woman. I still am. You should have stuck to the soft life. Teaching. Of course, if you had, then you wouldn't have been able to hire me. And I wouldn't have had a job. You could have gotten a job anywhere. Not then. Only a sister would hire a housefrau in widow's weeds. Weeping widow's weeds. Oh, why is it so cold still? We're spring. You look tired. What else? It's almost graduation and it feels like January. The state of things.
whose idea was to allow it, but I predict major catastrophe at any moment. Are there bodies piled high in the halls? It was your idea, Mother, and we all knew it. I'll never admit to it. I don't want the blame. Oh, come on. It sure wasn't Louise's. Listen, your aunt's been known to be pretty progressive. For her time. Oh, she's barely older than I am. See what I mean? Uh, weren't the rules writing in the halls, but not the classrooms? I knew it. I knew it was coming. I was just waiting. Mm -hmm. Are you through for the day? Oh, I got biology in the habit 220. So you're hacking off until? Yeah, well, I thought I'd come and bug you. Hmm. Is, uh, Marty often late at bed check? I don't know. She was last night. And according to Miss Lateness, you're usually later than she is. Count on Marty. Well, she was probably out running around with one of her six boyfriends. Six? Yeah. <laughs> and they're all orangutans. <laughs> you didn't believe her, did you? Well, just thought you should know who your friends are. <laughs> what is this constant motion? I'm just eager to get out of here. Oh. Three weeks and two days, and I'll be out of this prison for good. Mm -hmm. What can I wear for baccalaureate? Oh, I don't know. We'll find some old rag. Don't I know? Hey, baby. You okay? I'm terrific. Mom? Mom what? I don't know. She's always disappearing these days. Oh, what else? <laughs> Toothpaste. Oh, get, 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 get it over here. Get it over What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, shaving cream. Ooh, go get it. Go get it. Go get it. What right. next? What next? Mayonnaise. Go. Here. And that is not it. See, it's going to be impossible to get any work done in here tonight. Exams are four days away, and you're all going crazy. Ideas, Celia, ideas. No, we should be studying. But that's boring. Watch out, ladies. Here comes the kitchen. Oh, one minute, one minute. Shaving cream, shaving cream. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Foam. You know. Foam. Foam. Well, go get it. for some raw liver. Honey, 
Something. Hey, you guys, you know what we could do? We could get some toilet paper from the bathroom. Pull your jets, pull your jets. Here she comes, here she comes. Move, move. Oh, Barry. Barry. Hey, well, at least she stopped playing. Hey. <laughs> it's two minutes of. She's got to be here any moment. Where is she? I don't know, but I think we should get out of here. What's up? Barry, shut up. Well, what is this collection? You have exactly one minute to lights out. Now, do you think you can possibly make that? Yes, yes, yes Miss Gelson. Perhaps I'll be back to see you. That's it for me. Lisey, where are you? Gonna be in trouble. Gonna get me in trouble. It's out now. I'll come back and clean this mess up later. Thank you. <coughs> what happened? It just started. It couldn't have. Well, the curtains did. Is that right, Lane? Uh, yeah. Where were you? Lane was in bed, and I wasn't quite. That's right, you weren't here when I came in before. Were you smoking? I don't smoke. I hate it. That's all Mother does. And what did you see, Lane? Uh, not a lot, Miss Gelson. Why do you have boots on? Oh, I'm breaking them in for the summer. Do you sleep in them? Just about. It couldn't have been spontaneous combustion, could it? Or maybe the lightning? Could have been anything. All right, everybody, back to bed and stay out of this room. Lane, you and Wheezy sleep in the infirmary. In the morning, we'll investigate this further. Where were you? Where were you? I was out looking for you. But I was in the room. Not by 11.02, you were not. Yeah, well, I'm sure glad you managed to get the door open. How'd you do it? What do you mean? Well, the way it was stuck. I couldn't budge it. But it opened very easily. 
Oh, well, now that's weird because it didn't. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> you're serious. Oh, that's weird, weird. What are you looking for? Who's that? I'm here. I'm Sergeant Tappinger. Who are you? Ellen Sumner. I'm a teacher. I beg your pardon? Ellen Sumner. I'm a teacher. 
What are you doing here? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, it's not healthy to sit in the dark. Where are the lights? Trooper, though. She's got a chance. These things happen, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But you see, there have been others. Others? Other what? Fires. This isn't the first fire. The curtains, the typewriter page, they were the same. Lady, what are you talking about? started for no reason. I was sitting in my room. And the page went up. It, it just, it just did. And the curtains in my daughter's room. Pshh. It's not natural. Something's happening. There's something here. Lady. That light doesn't work. See? I bet it was a short circuit. It didn't happen that way. I was here. I saw it. She just started to burn. Lady, you're talking crazy. Now, the lights went out right before it happened, right? That's proof. That's what it was. I'm a man of science, and this isn't my area of purview. I don't see how I could be of help to you. I just don't know what to do. I know of a man, though. At least I heard of a man. He might be what you're looking for. His name is um, Kevin Leahy. I don't know how to locate him, but uh, I'll see what I can do. Blue. I want you to know.
remember anything. I walked forward and I... I froze. I didn't want to, but I froze. You didn't see where it came from? No. Just like Weezy did. The second fire. And you didn't see much of that either? Lane, tell about the door. What do you mean? Wheezy told me and I told Miss Lee. Oh. Go ahead. Then you know that I wasn't actually in the room. I think we know now. Then the door didn't stick. Yeah. Wheezy said it did. But I could open it easily from the outside. She was covering for you. Where were you? Can it matter now? Who's going to punish you? I was out looking for Weezy. She hadn't come in by 11. I was just out looking for her. You were covering for her. Weezy, this is Mr. Leahy. He's not a policeman, but he's looking into the fires. He'd like to ask you about the one in your room. But I've already told everyone about five times all I know. Yes, I know. There's nothing else you want to tell? No. What about how you weren't in your room by lights out? How Lane was out looking for you? Excuse me, Mrs. Sumner. I'm not concerned with that. Perhaps I could talk to Weezy by myself. I talked to Lane. She told you. She told me you couldn't open the door. Well, I couldn't. And it wasn't locked. She told me you were her best friend. Does she blame me? For what? For the fire in the auditorium. Why would she do that? She lied for me. About lights out? That's got nothing to do with the other. That doesn't cause another fire. I know. What's going on? What does Mother I think? I don't know. I'll tell you where I was that night. You don't have to. I want to. I went to see Mr. Wyndham, our biology teacher. I'm not good in biology, and he said he'd help me get ready for the exam. strands around their victims and mummify them before they have them for dinner. Some even devour their own. But Spider's not a bad fellow. In fact, in many ways, he's a truly extraordinary creature. Now, and here happens to be one particular example. I got five dollars for whoever will come up here and let him out of the jar. What? No takers, huh? All right. I'm going to have to pick a volunteer. Jane. You're the only Jane in the class. Come on up here. Be brave. Now, I'm like insect, though. 
arachna to have four sets of legs, not three. This particular example isn't very large. He's known as Laterotocus mactens, or popularly as the Black Widow. <laughs> Why, Jane, what about your $5? I'll tell you what. I'll give you one if you just touch the jar. I wonder if that top's on tight. Oh, come on. <laughs> Now, that wasn't so tough. <gasps> Dangerous spider? <laughs> All right. Know what you're getting scared at before you do. And I don't mean just Jane, I mean all of you. Don't take my word for it. The Black Widow has an hourglass-shaped red mark on the ventral side. And although the bite is poisonous chance are you wouldn't die from it and most spiders are not harmful or poisonous we'll see some real ones tomorrow okay <laughs> scare them to teach them. It's effective. There are some things more frightening than spiders. Oh, yeah. Toads and snakes, bufanidae, serpentes, other creepy crawlers. Maybe that's not what you had in mind. I was thinking of fire. That was grisly. You got there in time to save Lane's life. Oh, I got the jacket over her, that's all. How do you think it happened? You mean I have a pet theory? I don't know. Give me one. Spiders? I can't explain it. Mrs. Summer's daughter came here a couple of nights before that. Wheezy, you mean, yeah. I take it she'll not pass. No, that's not true. I gather she was worried about it, and that's why she came to cram for the finals. Yeah, that's true. But she's a good student. I missed a transition. Why are you asking that? <laughs> I don't know. Now, wait a minute, Sergeant, Lieutenant, Captain. You must have some reason for asking me these questions. Oh, I'm not a cop. What then? What's this figure you got lurking around your institution? I'm informed he goes by the name of Lady. What are you doing sitting here in this cave? Oh, I was just thinking. It's a mistake. Always a mistake. Every day I dissect animals that don't, and they're much happier. What's the word? What part of your precious school? Still a fire? Ellen says that they're related, the two of them. They, too? I never heard about any other. Actually, she says there have been three of them. Now, wait a second. Let's stick with two first. What other one? Lane and Wheezy's room. It's partially burned. Two nights before. I guess biology teachers are hopelessly uninformed. Is she right? Is she right about what? Why do you give yourself a complex about your sister? She's prettier than I am. Ah, that's a lot of bull. Her daughter, maybe. But only because she looks a little like you. Are you all right? I have to hold this school together, and these things could really wound it. Yeah. It's a good school, Paul. You don't have to convince me. You spent years doing that. Why are you going? <sighs> the time.
I should shut the school. <laughs> well, what other choice do I have? Poor Paul. He almost got up. He was leaving in June. At least he went quickly. He was lucky. When I was a teacher and I'd close the door. There weren't so many then, and I don't like them so much now. Is that why you came here? Am I making sense? Oh, God, I feel so lost. You're under a lot of pressure. We'll get to the end of it, Louise. We met before. I don't think so. I saw you with Ellen. She needs somebody now that Wheezy's going. She can take care of herself. How do you know that? How can anyone know that? Why did you never marry? I was frigid. I don't believe that. I am now. I don't believe that either. Who knows? been so long. You shouldn't have let it be. Well? Oh, dear God. What is it? Oh, God. What is it? I, I, I've got to get out of this room, and I, I've got to uh, go back to my office and go to work, and, and uh, myself to do that. <sighs> I'm, I'm all right now. I'm all... Goodbye, butterflies. Bye, Leahy. talk to you. I didn't want this to happen. About Paul. About Wyndham. I'm sorry. You had to see that. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I didn't sleep much last night. I just couldn't. We'll try and get some now. No, no, no. I, uh, I, I got a class to teach. Louise suspended classes, Mom. Oh, that's right. I remember. Mom. I know, I, I know I sound bad. Don't worry about me. I just feel washed out. Is there anything I can do? No. Thanks for being so terrific.
what happened next. Where are the policemen now? I don't know. It makes me really nervous. Are they still questioning? I think so. She'd hurry up. I don't care where he is. I just want to get out of here. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving this room unless Miss Gelson drags me out. Did the others get to go home after we talked to them? I don't know. Where's the freshman? Where's Celia? I feel like eight people are missing. At least? Yeah. Something's burning. Oh, <laughs> 
Come on, girls. Come quickly.
Mother, where is he? the school again. Mm-hmm. No more tragedies. No more. Tell me, what happened to that man, Mr. Leahy? I've been looking for him. We're not sure. Who was he, really? I don't know. Goodbye, Sergeant. Welcome. 